Hello everyone, this is Jack from Visual Effects. So today we're going to be looking at um, how to do a focus pull in uh, Cinema 4D and Octane in particular. So we've got this nice little Japanese room, um, tea room, and I want to create a new camera. And we want to make this effect obvious, so we'll go in a bit closer, maybe change it to like a 45mm, come out a little bit, and then we can do a little focus pull from the teapot to maybe this in the background. So to do this, we just need to open Octane Live View and see what's going on. So as you can see, we've got this lovely little scene um, starting to render. Um, but first, to make this test um, even possible, we need to set up the camera so that we can get a depth of field. So we'll just go to our Octane, Octane camera tag. Um, we can either keep thin lens or we can use universal or the any of the others, but we'll stick with thin lens now. Um, so we want to turn off autofocus and we also want to change the aperture, which is just the amount of light let into the lens. So just crank that up to something believable so it doesn't look too small the scene. So we on a 45mm lens, so there would be a fair bit of bokeh, but probably not as much as this, but for this example we will leave it as it is. Um, and then if you wanted to make it look a bit like anamorphic, you can change this value, let's just stretch it a bit more than past the point, so you start to get oval bokeh rather than circles, which gives that anamorphic look. But yeah, we'll keep it for one for now. So I've just activated the denoiser just to um, help see what's going on a lot faster. Um, so as you can see, we've got what the camera thinks should be in focus, which is this, which is probably about right. So you've probably used this little button and then poked around and seen different things in focus in your, in your scene. But um, for this example, what we want to do, we'll pause this for now, is we would like to create, I always like to use a sphere, but a lot of people use null objects. That I wouldn't like create a lot of polygons, just enough to see roughly where the focus point is. So make it quite small, and we want this to be on our little centerpiece from Quixel here, right here. So we want the focus to start there. So what we can do is we can just click, click beginning of our timeline keyframe and then go to frame 100 and we want the this object outside in focus. So if we just put that there and then set keyframe. So now we've got over 100 frames, probably reduce that down actually to 50. So from frame zero, we start with the little orb thing there and it slowly goes over there. Actually, let's bring it up there as well. Just for our... So we've got that happening. Now what we can do is we can just hide that object. The reason I use a sphere is just because you can clearly see where it is. A null object can sometimes be quite clunky in busy scenes, especially if you've got scatters and lots of assets everywhere. So it's good to use this. Um, you can call it something handy like focus pull underscore A. And then all we need to do is attach this to the camera. So in the focus object, we just need to change this to focus pull A. So now if we look in our viewport at frame zero, this thing will be in focus. Let's have a look. So that's perfect. It's really nice and crisp. And then if we go to frame 50, we'll see that this is all now out of focus. And we've got that object outside, nice and in focus. So over time, it gradually pulls focus. And that's literally how simple it is to do in either Octane, Redshift, or any other engine. 
um, just using cameras within Cinema 4D. So hopefully you found this little tip useful and I'll catch you on the next one.